What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys yet another Sovereign S&D gameplay, and I'm sorry for that, but I kind of needed to use it. It, it, it will directly relate to the main topic today, but before I get into that, because the main topic is going to be somewhat negative, I want to start with some a few things that are positive. So first thing, I want to give a shout out to our EU uh, team for flight, they actually beat Epsilon a couple days ago. Or maybe just yesterday. I don't even know. I get my days mixed up now. But uh, <laughs> anyway, they beat Epsilon in, an, in a tournament. So huge shout out to them. And then another thing is that I've decided that I'm going to be making a video every day this week through Sunday from here on out. Uh, just because there's so many things that I need to get out to you guys. And I have the time right now. So I'm going to be doing that. And also, I am excited to announce that I am working on a montage of sorts. It's going to be a competitive one, and basically, it's going to only include clips from a tournament that we played about a week ago, and it's it's only S and D. So you know, I mean, it. I think it's going to be pretty good. I'm making it by myself. I've already got most of it done. I've spent a good five six hours on it so far. Um, just today actually so I've been I've been working a lot on it and I hope you guys like it uh, any montages I make afterwards I will hopefully you know I'll, I'll improve them or I'll even just get a professional to do them for me um, but yeah I think I think you guys will enjoy it but we'll, we'll let you be the judge of that so the main topic um, it's gonna be a little bit of a rant about MLG so I gotta explain the whole situation first so Basically, the kids that we are playing in this map right here that you were watching, they disputed against us. And basically what happened was this was first map here, and we absolutely blew them out of the water. We we win, and then next map rolls around, and we don't ask for a lag test. It's their host. And, you know, we so we have to play it, and we were lagging horrendously, but we dealt with it, and, you know, it was it was still a somewhat close game. It was, it was actually fairly close still. And afterwards, we were like, okay, we want a new host, and we want a lag test. And we argued with the other team for a little bit, and they're like, okay, fine. They go and host up, right? One of us joins, guess what? It's the same host, because he's at the top of the list again. So we're like, um, no. So they're like, okay, fine. They do the same thing again. It's the same kids. So we're like, you, you guys are retarded. Get a new host. And so, we keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then they finally, finally get a new host. And so we join in. And we're like, okay, we want, we still want the lag test, though. Well, they refuse the lag test, and they start it up right away. Because, the, because they say, okay, we're past the five minute time limit, we have to start it. Well, that's only because they were delaying so long. And then I just sent them a message when they started that one of our teammates couldn't connect to their host because, you know, he couldn't connect. He has he, he recorded him not being able to connect to their game. And so the myself and Quaddy, we backed out because it was Blizzix that couldn't connect. So we backed out of the game and we're like, okay, well, you can either forfeit or you can let us host. And they're like, no, you forfeit because you didn't play third map and we were at the five minute time limit and everything and so we were just we, we had to fight with them for a little bit and it was it was really 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 frustrating and uh basically they disputed and i had to make proof and everything and it was you know it was kind of a icky way to end a night of playing gbs i always hate having to do proof for disputes but you know it's whatever and so you know next day rolls around which was yesterday and you know, I, I had a bunch of stuff I had to do. I had to go to the doctor in the morning, and then I had to run some errands. So, you know, I was, I was busy. And then about 2 o'clock my time rolls around. I come home. You know, I'm, I'm watching a live stream and everything. And then I check MLG, right? And, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. And then about 20 minutes later, I check it again, and it gives me this little message. And it's something along the lines of, you have been banned. <laughs> and I'm like, um, what? And it, it lists my IP address, and it says my IP is banned, and it says the reason is for giving or receiving free wins. I'm like, what? What? And so I'm like, okay, there's got to be a way I can dispute this, right? And it says, oh yeah, you can create a ticket. 
try and create a ticket for it, and guess what? It just gives you the same message again. You are banned. Create a ticket. Well, I, I can't do I couldn't do anything on their website. It wouldn't let me do anything. So that was frustrating. So I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I'll just have one of my teammates log on to my account when they get home from school. And then they can get a they they can submit a ticket for me to dispute this, and I'll have them word it politely and everything. Well, they get home, and I tell them about it, and then they check their accounts. <gasps> Guess what? They're banned for giving or receiving free wins now as well. Now, I'm sorry, but w w we did not all give or receive free wins, like, and we all get banned at the same time. I think it's. Very, 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 very likely that these kids had an admin that they paid or they know to get us banned because it is. I've I've seen this happen before to some people that I know. You can pay admins off or befriend them and just have them ban you. And the most common thing that they'll ban you for is giving or receiving free wins because it's just a common thing. Nobody really notices it. So. That's that's what they did, and I'm not saying 100% that they did it, though. I, I don't have 100% proof, but by the rudeness levels that they showed towards us, they kept cussing us out, wouldn't wouldn't let us speak or anything, and they kept trying to trick us into sent, pretending it was a new host and everything. I'm very inclined to believe that they are responsible for it, but, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever, but... Now we are banned for a month, and actually one of my teammates got his record reset, and this is the second time this has happened to him. He was a 7k a while ago, I, it was before I was on his team, and he, the, he had played a team that got mad at them, and they had paid an admin off, and they had reset his rank, and he actually quit playing competitive Call of Duty for a while because of this. And then he he joined he joined back in and now he's finally getting his rank back down and he was around 35k I believe, you know get getting back down into the lower ones and poof now he's reset again, and I can't even imagine how frustrating that must be, um you know it, it's just it's just wrong I mean I don't know it, it's it's so frustrating. You know, he's going to stay with it this time, though. We're, you know, we're here for him. We're going to get his rank back up once we once we get unbanned and we can play more GBs. And honestly, it'll help every, everyone else's ranks on the team now as well when we play. Because if you didn't know, it averages your team's ranks together. And then it kind of uses an algorithm to determine how much profile XP you get for the win. So, you know, if you've got a 1K, 1K, and then a 200K on your team facing some 10ks you might actually get some profile experience but if you have 1k 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 against the 10ks then you may get 0.25 experience for winning so that, that's just how how the game kind of thinks with that so it, it could be a little bit of a good thing but we gotta wait a month to get unbanned and basically this prevents us from doing any tournaments on gb and it prevents us from playing any gbs so we are Restricted to scrimming and playing PGLs now, which isn't the end of the world, but MLG is the big one. It's the one that everybody looks at, the sponsors look at. They want to know your rank. They want to know your record. They want to know how many pro points you have and things like that. And, I mean, I don't have any pro points right now because we haven't done a uh, 2K series or a 250 series or, any or anything like that on GB yet. We were planning on it. We actually wanted to do one, but we now, now we can't. So we got to wait. Um, I believe the unbanned time for me is going to be February 21st, so we'll be looking forward to that date. But yeah, and so I'm. Th th this is th this kind of thing's been going on with MLG for a while though. I've been on the MLG website for a couple years now, uh, just kind of off and on for a while until I got serious uh, in Black Ops 2. And you know. A lot of things like this happen. There's a lot of really corrupt people on here, and if you've seen some of the pros videos, you'll see it as well. I know that um, Fizzerp made a video during Black Ops 2 showing a corrupt admin who they, they, they just clearly won the match or whatever. There there were rules wrong or something, and the admin just gave the other team the win, and it was a it was a paid tourney. Like it was. It was very, very frustrating for them, and, you know, that got lots and lots of views, so a lot of people saw that corrupt admin get his butt whooped a little bit, but, um, you know, th this kind of thing goes on a lot, and I'm 
what what we really need MLG to do is first of all they need to hire paid staff. No more volunteers. I'm sorry, it doesn't work. It's people don't care, and they're more inclined to accept bribes because they're like, hey, I'm doing all this work. I want a little bit of money. So you know, and also they could conduct some background checks or you know require referrals from employers in the real war in the real world or from other websites or something so that you know that the person is trustworthy you don't want just some random 12 year old who's an admin and is just gonna give his friends the free wins also they could do something where they require each match each premium match at least to be reviewed by at least three admins instead of you know just like one and just being like okay free win for the other team because they paid me money or because they're my friends so you know th those are the things that I would like to see MLG do uh, I think it could help quite a bit it's not gonna get rid of all the problems though because the it comes down to the people on this website too many of them are too immature to take a loss or to be kind to other people you know people are constantly just going every little detail into the rules like oh you were one second late for this match over the five minute limit or the 15 if it's the first map and they try and dispute or oh you had one little rule wrong I'm gonna dispute even if you end it in the right time you know people just trying to get all sorts of free wins off of it and it's like what's what's the point I mean yeah, I don't know it's 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 so frustrating I wanna see some of this stuff fixed I'm sorry that this has been a little bit of a negative video but next one will be better I, I promise so as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below constructive criticism goes a long way until next time everybody peace out